Hey guys, come with me to shoot a cover story for Decent Magazine with radio host, TV personality and author Roman Kemp. For shoots, I tend to use my Eastpac bag, which can hold a camera bag as well as my laptop. Once I was all packed up, I headed off to meet my assistant who had already collected our lighting equipment for the day. This is my mood board for the shoot. We really wanted Roman to be at one with the space. Super relaxed, interacting with the furniture, reclining, laying down, very cozy, homely vibes. I also wanted to get some strong portraits, taking inspiration from this collection of photos as far as framing, poses and interactions with the camera. This page's intention was to really give a sense of the use of space and how much of the space I might incorporate into each frame. Lastly, I gathered some inspiration for seated poses. Once we got to the space, studio era, we set up my laptop and camera and began to put up the lights. Here you can see Sylvie, the co-founder and production director of Decent. She wanted to see how this jumper would photograph, especially as we were considering this look for the cover image. So we did a bit of testing with the current light setup, an octa and a head bouncing light off of the wall on the left of Sylvie. This is Efe, fashion editor for Decent Mag, amazing stylist and my wonderful dear friend. I continued testing with Sylvie, also taking the time to begin grading my images. I then tested with my assistant for the day, the wonderful and talented Fukayo. Do give her a follow and check out her photography work. Afterwards, we made some final adjustments to lighting and I continued messing around with the grading. And here is FA cozying up with some Uwebe slippers. Roman arrived shortly after and Grace, an amazing makeup artist, did some final grooming for him. I briefly showed Roman my mood board to give him an idea of just how chill he could be on the sofa. And we got to shooting his first look a jumper and trousers set by Bethany Williams, and some Gucci and Rufe slides. I was shooting tethered through Capture One, which is always very helpful on shoots like this because as I mentioned earlier, I had already set my grading for the images, which made the editing process so much easier. It's also great being able to show the team your images in their almost final form. And it was super helpful for Fukayo to see the images as they came through, as she could give me a shout if I was blocking the light source, or if I needed to change my aperture or shutter speed. Once Roman was all warmed up with these initial laid back seated shots, we set up the next pose where he would be laying upside down on the sofa. And then he went back to being seated and the lovely Reggie who lives at Studio Eero decided to join Roman and pose with him. Here are the final images from our first look. Next, we headed to the kitchen to shoot our second look. A Casablanca shirt, Dan Shan shorts, and some Bottega Veneta shoes. For this setup, we used one light with the Octa, as well as a reflector to bounce some more light onto Roman's face. Whilst FA sorted out final touches on the styling, I did some quick light tests and adjusted my grading in Capture One. We started off with some shots by the window. And some more shots by the reading nook, where we had Roman standing at first and then seated, interacting with the small space. And we moved the octa around depending on the shot.
then we all headed upstairs to the bedroom to shoot the third look. A Vivian Westwood coat, Dan Shan shirt, and LE17 September trousers. Again, opting for a one light setup with the Okta and bouncing some additional light onto Roman with the reflector. She said we better of his best friends. Who was the best friend? Can you let me know what it means to be a best friend? Let me know the next man. Reggie joined us again for the last few shots on this side of the room. We set up for the next shot, positioning the octa so the light was coming from the same direction as the light from the window. I did a quick light test and we decided to clear the bed so Roman could pose from there. For the fourth look, Roman was wearing a shirt and trouser set by Nicholas Daly and Bottega Bonita shoes. We shot this in the dining room and second living room, but we didn't get any behind the scenes, unfortunately. Here are the final images from the fourth and final look. We soon wrapped our shoot and began to put away all the lighting equipment and back up all the images before heading home. Here is a final look at the cover. It was one of five covers for issue two, and it was great to have work alongside Eva Lasada, Katie Burden, Moses, and Vicky Grout. Here's a look at my cover in its physical form. Decent is pretty cool because it's a men's magazine curated by women and mainly lens by women as well. It was so wonderful photographing Roman Kemp and creating imagery to go alongside such a sensitive interview where Roman opens up about his mental health. He speaks on how over the years this has affected his career choices and led him into the world of broadcasting, a space that has truly allowed him to be himself, whilst also discussing the difficulty of having to show up as yourself every day and not having the space to switch it off. He speaks on his experience with loss and how important safeguarding is, and providing the space for our friends to be truly vulnerable with us. Issue two was released back in May, so it is completely sold out, but do look out for future issues of Decent Magazine. Thank you to Maria, editor-in-chief, Sylvie, the co-founder, Mariana, the creative director, and FA, fashion editor, for having me on the shoot. I'll link any profiles down below where possible. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video. Peace.